Hello and welcome. I'm Lois McClucky, Head of Marketing for Hot Docs. Thank you for joining us today for our Automating the Law webinar, where we will talk about how automating the production of legal documents can make your practice more efficient. I would like to introduce today's presenter, Graham Penman. Graham heads up the Hot Docs Global Services team and works with our clients day in, day out to implement document automation solutions and provide help and support to Hot Docs users. I'll now hand over to Graham and he'll take you through the presentation. Fantastic. Thanks, Lois. Uh, good to speak to you all this afternoon. I'd like to add my welcome to you all. Um, I hope you find it this webinar uh, interesting and engaging. And on that note, if you have any questions at any point, there is a question panel on GoToMeeting. So if you have any questions, type them in there and we will come and answer them at the very end. Depending on how much time that we have, we'll get through as many as we can. So today we are looking at the topic of automating the law, specifically looking at document automation. But before I go any further, I just want to qualify that and I want to unpack a little bit about what we mean by this term. And automation can mean many things to many people. When it comes to the practice of law, that's no exception. Uh, sometimes automation, say in the form of a business process, automation can be more intrusive and remove the need for human interaction. So fully automating a process from end to end. And there are many circumstances in which that is appropriate. However, more and more, especially with our technology, automation isn't seen as a replacement for human engagement, not at all, but it's, it's seen as an enabler, enabling users of automated technology to focus more on the job that they're there to do. And in the case of law, applying legal reasoning instead of the more day-to-day -day administrative jobs, especially producing draft contracts or agreements um, for customers. And we see this every day when we engage with our customers. Uh, when they come to us and they are looking to help us to help them with automation in the form of documents, looking at specifically helping them enhance compliance with the documentation that they produce, making sure that the documents they produce are accurate, that they're agile and maintainable. And what I mean by that is when you make a change to a document or a clause that could be in multiple documents, that that change is propagated throughout every document that contains that clause. Making your documents comprehensive, making sure that they contain all the relevant information to make them a compliant document to the rules and the regulations that govern the industry that you work in. And that could be compliance externally, so the laws of the country or the governance system that is in place over your industry, or it could be internal compliance due to the internal structures that you have within your firm or your business. Secondly, a lot of our customers come and ask us to help them reduce risk in their document production. And when I talk about reducing risk, if you take something like a liability clause within a contract where you have a percentage wise of liability based on the contract that if you default on this, uh, on this agreement that you pay a certain amount of money, having the decimal point in the wrong place is going to be a huge problem if you're manually drafting these contracts. So how do you ensure that you're reducing the risk in document production by taking away the ability to have the wrong numbers in the wrong places with the wrong formatting? and making sure the data is correct in every single place throughout that contract or that document. Thirdly, creating operational efficiency. Now, I mentioned in my introduction about automation that maybe fully automating a process from end to end uh, is not particularly uh, relevant in some cases, but you can save time and create operational efficiency in drafting your documents, potentially getting to a first draft of a document. How many times do we create the same documents over and over again and each time we do it from a manually based contract or something like that, how can we reduce the operational uh, cost in terms of drafting documentation? And finally, how do we standardize output? How do you make sure that every engagement you have with your customers is standardized, that they get the right headers, footers, fonts, tables and contents are all updated with the right styling and formatting? How do you make sure that you have a consistent and standardized output to your documentation. So 
bearing this in mind, why is there a need for a technology like hot docs and document automation? Surely law firms have this sorted. Well, I'd like to propose a question to think about this and then I'll go on to answer it uh, with an example. And the question is, what's the most common process to produce a document and create a document within a law firm? And here's, uh, put it in the context of the firm that you work with or organizations you've worked with before. How do they produce documents? Well, I'd like to propose an answer. And this is an answer we get a lot of the time when we're talking with our customers. And I'll put it into context here. Think about this. Customer A comes to you and comes to me and asks me to draw up a new lease agreement for them. While they're giving me the requirements, I remember I did a very similar agreement for my other customer, customer B. So the first thing I do is I go and find customer B's completed agreement. That could be in my document management system, it could be attached to an email, or it could be in the bottom drawer of my desk. But I go and find it. So I've now got that agreement that has roughly the same requirements. Then what I do is I open that up in Microsoft Word, I open it up in my desktop, and then I rename that file. So I now have a document named as Customer A's lease agreement, but it's currently got all of Customer B's details in it. So we're a, bit, we're a bit of a loss here because we've got two things that don't really relate to one another. So now I move into the final stage to create my document. I then modify it. I then manually go through the document to change all the data, removing the irrelevant clauses, copying and pasting from other documents to make up this lease agreement. So my three-stage process that we find in many organizations is a find, rename, modify. Finding an old agreement that's similar, renaming it to a, the new customer's name, for their details and then go through and manually modify it. And there are many, many inherent dangers and to this process. Simple things like errors of omission, things not getting put into that contract that need to, errors of inclusion. How do we know that we maybe included something specifically for an old client or customer that maybe is not applicable here, but we've missed it because we've taken the old contract? Um, it relies on memory. Now, my memory is bad quite a lot of the time, but because there are so many decision points within documents and legal contracts, Sometimes we can forget what we've done specifically for a certain circumstance for a previous agreement or contract or document. And so those others end up coming into the new contract or those decisions that were made on a previous basis move in to the, the new contract. Uh, and lastly, the starting point for the documents are compromised. We've taken something that was done for a specific circumstance and moved it. And the starting point is not from a base agreement, it is from a compromised circumstance with no consistency across the firm or the organization in terms of the specifics for creating a contract. So with that in mind, how does Hot Docs help you with that process? How do we help with the consistency, the risk, the compliance of creating documentation? Well. It's a two-stage process. You have people who are content authors, people who create templates effectively to then produce documents from. So we have a content author and we provide that content author who's typically a business user, a non-technical business user. We provide them the tools to take the documents that they produce on a regular basis in the format that they're in, typically Word or PDF, and transform them into hot docs templates. And that's by the process of finding all the changeable pieces of information in the business rules and inserting hot docs instructions in their place. So that's phase one, that's content creation and that's done within Microsoft Word. There's a ribbon toolbar that enables business users to do this and mark up templates according to the business rules and changeable pieces of information. And then once we have that template content, that template content can then be consumed by end users. So we have an end user. And what happens is during the template creation process, HotDocs builds a dynamic interview. It's a question and answer session. So based on the variable pieces of information within the template and the business rules, HotDocs generates a dynamic interview. As the user 
enters information and answers questions into that interview through the process either on your laptop, on an iPhone, an iPad, a tablet device. Questions appear and disappear depending on how you've answered the previous questions, meaning the end user only ever answers the relevant information. So if I'm creating a new limited liability partnership agreement, for, for example, if we have a multi-party agreement, we only ask the relevant multi-party questions. If we don't, then we get rid of those questions intelligently. We can also integrate and pool data from other systems. So if you have your document management system, your CRM system, we can pool data from those other systems, potentially a practice management system, pull it in and pre-populate some of the information within the question and answer session. And once we've captured all that information, we then feed it into our intelligent document assembly engine. And out pops a document or a suite of related documents. So one interview can produce multiple documents. And then most importantly, we capture all that information for that one agreement and save it for later so we can then reuse it to produce other documents. So say you had a template to onboard your customers. So you create your template, you consume your template, you onboard your documents by filling in their information and you have your letter of engagement produced. The next thing that could happen is you then need to start working on the agreements they've asked you to and you can take all that information and pass it on to the next template. So you don't have to pre-populate, uh, you don't have to repopulate the, the questions in the interview. You already have all that information and you can reuse it. So, that's a bit about what we do. And we also have integrations with many other systems. So you can imagine your line of business systems, uh, things like document management, CRM, practice management. We have our core technology at the bottom. That allows us to do complex or simple document assembly and automation. And we have a bunch of services that sit on top of that core piece of technology, which allows us to integrate with many other systems. So if you think of the applications that you have, there's our Hotdocs application, but there's lots of other systems as well. Things like iManage, probably one of the most recognized document management systems in the legal world. Intap, K2 for workflow, Salesforce, SharePoint, you have all these other systems and we can connect to them to maybe push the documents in once they've been produced and profile them into your document management system or send them off to an e-signature tool like DocuSign for them to then be signed and then pushed into your next part of your process. With also business process management systems in the middle being able to coordinate all the processes that are involved. So that's great, that's our technology, but really who are we as a business? Well, we service well over a million users worldwide with well over 9,000 customers, ranging from uh, single practitioner law firms all the way to some of the world's largest organizations. And because of that, we are the pioneer and global market leader in our sector. We've got well over 20 years experience in delivering high quality, stable document automation solutions to these organizations. And we're currently deployed in over 60 countries and we have a global network of 50 partners. We work in many different languages with multilingual documents. So if you work across borders, we can easily produce bilingual uh, documentation uh, and assemble that based on the parameters and the rules that you pass us. And we're proven technology across multiple sectors, including banking and legal, legal being our largest sector. We're recognized by Microsoft uh, as, a, as a gold certified partner. So whenever Microsoft make updates to Word and the technologies we use that we then have early adoption of them. And also we've been recognized by the analyst Gartner as a cool blender and best of breed technology. So that's a little bit about um, our credentials. And again, just a, a little bit here on who some of our customers are. These are some of our larger uh, customers, people like Royal Bank of Scotland, uh, down to Thomson Reuters, Kingwood Mallison's, uh, LexisNexis and CMS, but again, we cater for a large range of customers with varying requirements and needs um, for their solutions. So just as I move on, just before I go into a, a demo, I'm going to take a couple of minutes just to share three examples of how law firms uh, and a bank are using hot docs in their day-to-day -day, uh, business activities to enhance their customer service and their business. So my first example here is Auric, a large legal firm, I'm sure you know them, based in San Francisco. And they implemented Hot Docs a few years ago and they save hundreds of hours per week creating their documentation. But 
more than that, they also have created value-added services to their cost for their customers that attract new business opportunities. So if you go into Oryx website, they actually allow users and allow their customers to go onto their site and fill in and produce term sheets. And what that does, it allows potential customers to get some documentation that we require upfront, set up a new company via their website, and they allow them to have access to this for free. And really the driver behind this is then once the customer has, potential customers downloaded that document, they then have a relationship with Auric and then they go back for future services. So a very innovative way to uh, allow customers to engage and be able to download documentation freely available and then acquire the services um, after that to then take them on as a customer. So that's one example um, of a large customer doing that in the US. Another one is uh, CMS. CMS are a group of uh, law firms. Uh, we have uh, Cameron McKenna in the UK and Hasha Siegel uh, in uh, Germany using hot dogs. And they're about to be one of the largest legal practices in the world. And when they engage with us, they were looking to improve their customer service. And the, really qu the big question they were asking was, how can they have a better turnaround in terms of time in getting documentation to their customers? So when they engage, customers aren't waiting uh, for days and weeks to get documentation. They can have a fairly instant turnaround when producing it. So we integrated with some of their document management systems to keep their users in with the systems that they were used to using. And as well as that, uh, as well as utilizing hot docs for their more complex and low volume agreements, typically over 150 pages. They also automated many of their smaller agreements, uh, so the lower churn work that can be automated to a higher degree. So there's really a slide off point with hot docs and the technology between uh, highly automated complex legal documents that are produced in lower volumes and the value of compliance and risk with those, and then automating and getting operational efficiency in the more high volume batch uh, documents that typically are the more simple, uh, simpler contracts to produce. And it allowed, specifically in Hasha Siegel's case, it allowed them to, and their lawyers, to focus more on uh, the area of law that they wanted to work in rather than doing the standard run of the mill uh, agreements. They could produce first drafts very quickly and then apply uh, their legal background to then uh, add their value to the contracts after that. And finally, just before I go into a demo, we'll take a look at RBS. Now, RBS are one of uh, our largest customers, well over 12,000 uh, users. Now, you realize this is a legal webinar and they are a bank. However, the documents that we produce for RBS uh, are their corporate and commercial lending agreements for some of their most highly complex products. And Hotdocs enables their relationship managers, those people who are on the front line um, of serving customers, to process and create create documentation in minutes. So they can sit with their customers and produce documentation instantly um, in order for them to have good high value customer service. And because all the business rules are in the hot dogs templates for producing documentation, the front of house members can produce these perfectly formed compliant agreements without the overheads of the previous manual process. So that's just a brief example of what we've done with other customers. And just to put this in context, um, I would like to just share a really quick demonstration of the hot docs technology and how an end user would take a template, produce a document, and then I'll very quickly show you how we would create a template from this. And it's a very simple process. So let me just pull up this screen. I'm going to zoom in uh, so that everybody can see this uh, on their screen. This is the hot docs hub. And the Hot Docs Hub is a web application. It can be hosted uh, in the cloud by Hot Docs or it can be accessed via an on-premise server installation. And this site, this application is used by end users to consume Hot Docs templates and produce documents. So, I'm an end user. I want to come in and create a new customer contract for a new agreement that I want to create for my customer. So I'm going to click on the create new work item. And as I click create, you can see I have a work item name. A work item is just a, a set of templates and some data that produce documents. So I'm going to say this can be a new contract. 
for Capsoft. This is Capsoft is my new company I want to create a contract for and I'm going to select my standard customer contract. I'm going to click launch interview. And when I click launch interview, Hot Docs goes off to the server or the cloud and it analyzes all the questions that need to be answered and all the business rules that are required to produce this document and then presents this interactive question and answer session in the browser for the user to interact with. So on the left hand side I have all my dialogues. Dialogues are groups of related questions. On the right hand side I have my questions I need to answer. So for an end user producing a document, instead of interacting with Microsoft Word, copying and pasting, finding and replacing, what we're doing is we're interacting with this question and answer session. So first question is who's responsible for issuing this contract? Well, it's me, so I'm going to type my name in there. We could pull that from another system if you like. And you can see that this question is read. And that means that it's required before I move on in the process. And I can't move on to create this document without uh, without answering it, which means that you can have that uh, reduction in risk that people haven't filled in the right information as you go through. The next question I see is for which business board I'm going to select HR products and services. And now that I've answered those two required questions, I can now move on to the next dialogue. But you can also see that we have resources on the right hand side. Now a resource is there to help people answer the question as well as they can. So that could be links out to your knowledge base system. It could be embedded in footnotes and drafting notes to help people answer the questions as correctly as possible. You'll see that now I've moved on to the next dialogue. As I answer questions, questions appear and disappear. So as I answer manage payroll, Hot Docs automatically realizes that the rest of the questions are no longer, no longer relevant. So we get rid of them. So as I go through, it's very dynamic in filling out the interview. So here we've got some repeated information here that I can fill in so we can collect, uh, we can collect lists of information, of repeated information. So this is the details of our uh, agreement I need to terminate. I've entered the first one so I can add another one in. So we have lists of repeated information and related information that we can collect. And again as I go through this there's lots of different question types, drop down lists, all to make it easier for the user to interact and fill in the information. But to avoid boredom uh, on this I'm going to click the fill demo answers button and that fills in the rest of the information for me. So you can see in the progress bar I'm almost at the end. Uh, I can see that I'm not quite finished yet. There's some unanswered questions. I can tell by the markers here there's an unfilled dialogue. So I'm just going to quickly type in some information into this to finish it off. Description in there and I'll type a description in here as well. Uh, and then now that I've done that you can see that the uh, the progress bar has turned to green, so I've filled in all the information I need to produce this contract. The end user clicks finish. We assemble the documents and out at the other end, out pops uh, a couple of documents that have been assembled based on the data that we entered into the interview and the, fi and the, uh, and the final template. So if I download this document now and I save it, it's just a standard Word document. I'm going to open up in Microsoft Word and you can see that we now have a document that has all the data in all the right places with all the right styling and formatting with all the cross references tables of contents all updated based on the based on the business rules within the template so for an end user using our solution it is as simple as selecting a template filling in the interview and then producing the document by clicking finish. So that's how an end user consumes a template. That's where the majority of users will be. But just for a couple of minutes, I'm going to show you very quickly how we would create a new document, how we create a new template to then uh, be consumed. And for the purpose uh, of this agreement, I'm going to open up my uh, Hot Docs developer tool. Hot Docs developer is uh, the place in which you create templates and you manage your template content. You can see on the left hand side that I have all my templates in folders that can be uh, grouped together. And what I want to do is I want to right click on my library and click new template. Now on my desktop, I am just going to open this up. On my desktop, um, I have some templates. So I'm just going to go into my demo folder and open up this Word document. So if I open up my employment agreement here, uh, this is just for example Microsoft Word, you'll see that I have a, a standard Word document, it's an employment agreement, and it has some of these details already in it. And what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to turn it into a 
template. I want to turn it into something that can be reused to produce other documents from it. So I'm going to close this down. I'm going to right click on my library and click new template. And I'm going to call this uh, my demo employment uh, agreement agreement in there I'm going to give it a title and then I'm going to select what the intro, initial contents are I'm going to select it to be another file and as I go to my desktop I'm going to select my employment agreement here I'm going to click uh, give it a title in here and give it a description and click OK and what hot docs does it takes an entire copy of that agreement and it takes all the styling the formatting all the cross references across and now we have a ribbon toolbar in Microsoft Word to produce this template so now the business user who creates templates can then just find all the changeable piece of information and business rules and insert the instructions in their place. Now I'm only going to pick out two of the two of the key features of Hot Docs here in creating a template. So here I can see that there's Greg Alberts. His name is throughout this contract. So what I want to do is instead of his name, I want to ask a question to the user. So I'm going to highlight his name, click the variable field, and it pops up. Uh, the variable here, we've got different question types because a variable is just a question you ask the end user. We've got text, numbers, dates, true, false, multiple choices, computations, and these are the different question types we have. So the first thing is I'm going to create the employee name question. I'm going to hit replace multiple, replace all. Now everywhere his name was throughout this contract, we now have a question for the end user to answer. So I can hit test assemble and Hotdocs automatically produces an interview for me to fill out so I can see how the automation affects the output document. So I'm going to type my name in the employee name field. I'm going to say Graham Penman. And now I can go to my preview and you can see now everywhere my name is, uh, everywhere the placeholder was, my name now is as well. So I'm going to save this answer file for later because we can save the data, GP demo, and so I don't have to retype it again. The next thing I see is we have a date. So as soon as I highlight this date, I can come in, click a variable field, I can click date, and notice this time it has automatically picked up the formatting of that date. So what we can do with Hot Docs is control, even if you answer the questions, we can control how that data goes into the document. So you can type in any date you want and we will pick out the right date and put it in that format. So I'm going to say this is the contract date in here and replace once. So we would go through this entire document, we find a changeable piece of information and put in questions that the user needs to answer. But what about business rules? So we have a paragraph here that is conditional based on professional, uh, depending on who the new employee is, and whether they are allowed to attend professional meetings or seminars. So this is conditional. So I'm going to highlight this paragraph, I'm going to click the if field, I'm going to ask a yes, no question, but you can also write expressions that evaluate to true or false, whether that clause needs to go in or not. I'm going to do this and put it in as paid seminar clause in there uh, as a yes no question, click OK and now you can see that we have a conditionality around that paragraph that if this is true we then insert it. So I'm going to go into my test assemble, I'm then going to put my contract date into the interview and then going to answer the paid seminar clause to be yes. If I go to my document preview you can see that we now have that paragraph in if I go back to my interview and hit no, it then gets taken out. So here we are controlling the structure of the document, what gets inserted, what gets taken away, and what data goes into the documents by asking the users questions instead of having them, uh, instead of having them work within the document themselves. So that's just a very brief example uh, of creating a, a template. Again, that process for this document would take maybe a half an hour to create this template, but that's just a little snippet of how we go about creating templates within Hot Docs. And obviously how we consume them is within the phase I showed you before through the web browser. So hopefully that's given you a little bit of an insight into how Hot Docs can automate documents and how you can put business rules and legal languages uh, into templates uh, and how you can then pull in different clauses and make the clauses come into the document based on the data that you put into the interview. So to summarize, thousands of law firms and in-house teams use Hot Docs worldwide for automating the production of legal documents, to increase the quality and accuracy and reducing the risk in the process of creating documents, to save time and money, uh, to ensure compliance, and it retains specialist knowledge to, in creating these uh, templates and having that within your templates.
So now we have just enough time for maybe a couple of questions um, on this. So as I flick onto this, I'm just going to go into my question poll here. I'm going to expand it. So there's been quite a few questions that have come in uh, throughout this session. So I'm just going to expand it just now. Uh, again, if you have any other questions, just um, just uh, answer them just now. So, um, so let's have a look here. So once a document has been created, is it like any other Word doc? Can you still track changes with the client? Yes, absolutely. So when Hot Docs um, creates a document, we keep it in a Word format from start to finish. So you create uh, a template and then when you produce the document, uh, the document is produced in Word or PDF format and if you have track changes uh, on uh, those documents, they can then, uh, th that is then passed through the assembly so track changes are still uh, within the document once it goes through the assembly process. Um, okay, so I'm not. Uh, next question. I'm not sure if I need Hot Docs Designer. Is that something you could help with? Okay, so um, we do have consulting services that allow us to build templates uh, on your behalf. Uh, so we have template designers that can help you build your templates for you as a professional service um, afterwards. Um, so another question: What happens if you lose internet connection midway or it crashes in some way? Well, that's a good question. So. Uh, in terms of scalability, if you're using our cloud environment, Hotdocs is fully consumed within the browser. So when you load the interview into the browser, all the logic to capture all the information is in your browser itself. So if you lose internet connectivity, until you hit finish, you're just working purely within the browser. You're not hitting a server in between every answer and every question. So when you click finish, that will be the next time it hits in. So as long as you have internet connectivity when you hit finish, that's fine. We also periodically save your answers during the interview and you can save them partially so you don't lose any of the work that you have done. Um, so another question here, uh, the variables appear as blue text. Will it print with blue ink? So as you saw with the templates, when we put variables in, uh, they're highlighted for hot docs use so you can quickly find out where your variables are and the logic within the template. But when you click finish and you produce a document, we use the exact styling and formatting that's applied to your document. So you won't see any of the blue text unless you've coded your template to do that or you've automated your template to do that. So the answer to that question directly is no, it won't. Uh, it will be uh, come out in the style and format that you have. Uh, so I've maybe got time for maybe one more question. Um, can you use Hot Docs to create firm policies and procedures? Absolutely. Hot Docs is designed for document automation. Today we've been specifically talking a little bit about legal documentation, but you can use it to do anything. Personally, in Hot Docs I use it because of my role in uh, professional services. I use it to create statement of works. I use it to do project management documentation to provide quotes and estimates on work. You can use it, I've heard an innovative use, uh, a law firm last year used it to do customized letters to Santa at Christmas time. You can use it to produce any kind of documentation that you want to produce within Word or PDF. So um, that's just a few of the questions. Unfortunately, we're running out of time, so I'm going to have to cut it uh, there. But we will answer those questions uh, and get back to you uh, offline after, uh, after the uh, webinar has been sent out. So on that note, I really appreciate your time this afternoon. Hopefully you find that useful uh, and more than happy to take any questions. Email marketing at hotdocs.co.uk uh, and we will follow up after this. So really appreciate your time this afternoon. Hope you have a good rest of your day and uh, we will speak to you soon hopefully.